Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to McKnight Elementary. My name is Chris Shute. I'm the principal here. I'll give you a moment to kind of settle your eyes from the brightness. Answering the question that's all in your head, no, I typically do not dress like this. No, I did not lose a bet. Um, today was actually all holiday and Grinch um, wearing. And we were raising money all year. All of our dress up days this year, we were raising money for organizations like Down Syndrome Foundation, Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, and the Children's Heart Foundation. So I figured if our students are brave enough to be up here performing for you today, I will be brave enough to wear this outfit for you today as well. So, a big call, thank you, thank you. That makes me feel a little bit First off, a big thank you to all of you for continuing to support our art program and our music program here at McKnight. This is something we are very, very proud of. Your students have been doing an amazing job. They performed for all of the students in our class this morning, and they are excited to perform for you this evening as well. So, thank you for your help, for your support, and I will turn it over to Mr. Krause and our fourth grade band to lead us off. Good evening, everyone. I had a little, uh, little mishap there. We had to make sure that we had our saxophone section back together again. 
uh, and ready to roll, ready to roll there. Minor, minor adjustment needed as we went through. Well, hey, where would you rather be on a Friday night? Yeah, all right, yeah, that's, that's the right attitude. That's the right attitude to have. We talked about this uh, ministry team. We talked about this, uh, the way the dates all worked out. And, um, you know, we were going to be out at weeknight anyway. This is kind of better in a lot of ways. I mean, I told the kids when we were getting together in the back hallway there, I said, you know, all the hip jazz cats, they're out playing on Friday and Saturday night. So here you are. You know, this is your first concert, but you're now officially a hip jazz cat. You're out playing and gigging on a Friday night. So that works out really, really well. Nice thing is, don't have to get up for school tomorrow. We can have a nice, e e e easy evening this evening and sleep in maybe a little bit tomorrow if you can. So I do appreciate you uh, getting here on a Friday night in that busy time of year. So we'll have a nice evening concert for you all prepared. I've got people right in the front right at the, the pit here. This works out really well. All right, so you can see in the program, we've got all the classics. We've got all the classics. We've already hit Hot Cross Buns. We're going to be going through uh, a lot of things that you can, you'll can you recognize, I'm sure, if you've been to some of these concerts before. You know that we have a limited amount of material that uses the first three, four, or five notes. So we're going to try to hit them all for you and trade them around the ensemble. You've got a chance to see where everybody is. So hopefully you'll be able to get some uh, photos as we go. And they'll be standing up at some other portions of the program, too. So you just have to follow along and see where we are. Okay. We're going to go through a new one for us right now. Um, we, in rehearsal, made up um, a new version of Mary Had a Little Lamb, uh, and we added something to the end of it. Mary Had a Cool Lamb, where it gave an opportunity for some of the percussion to move from uh, mallet instruments to battery instruments on drums. We've had a good time getting this one together. A little bit of a twist on Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's Mary Had a Little Lamb and a Cool Lamb.
All right, so we did a little bit of a, a solo section of the program. We're going to hear from the flute section, the clarinet section, and the saxophone section on their section solos as they go through. Uh, flutes have prepared Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so we'll run that one right now. section we actually had a little bit of a little bit of trouble um, making a selection there were so many to choose from but we finally arrived at one and we're going to go through oh the joy for you on clarinet section took the uh, challenge to go a little bit further in the book, which was great, I'll help you. All right, so we uh, took Lightly Row and went all the way with it and made sure that it was um, that it was a little bit more syncopated, so we got that all together. But give us one second here, we've got one other adjustment to make and we have to do a double check and then we'll get started with this one. Once. saxophone that breaks can be fixed by delicately, delicately is the word, delicately bending another key or something else into the right place. He said, at some point, you're going to thank me for that little piece of advice because at that point, you'll know which one to bend to get it all to work the right way. So thank you, Dr. Plusha. Uh, we got it all back together again. <laughs> bend, bend the right way. Stuff happens. So here we go. All right, so this is the syncopated rowboat, our saxophone section, and we're going to let it ready.
a saxophone session. combinations for you on that one, uh, so you'll hear some different combinations of instruments as we go through. This is Good King Wenceslas. Thank 
I'm two for two for this to repair on my spot this evening. That's the way it goes sometimes. All right. So we've moved the percussion over uh, to battery again uh, to just augment what's going on. This is a piece called Stomp Rock that our entire brass section is going to do, low brass and our trumpet section. Uh, there's a stomp part in it that we, uh, we're letting everybody stomp on it and we're letting the percussion go through some things and also give it some background beats. So we'll go through stomp rock for you two times. Here we go. section back here with dreidel dreidel a little holiday selection and we'll see how this all goes okay we got a rip we got a turn Our percussion section. This is dreidel, dreidel. things that are going on over there. Uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, gotten some hand-me-down timpani. We've got bass drum, snare drum, all the auxiliaries, nice catch, uh, plus all the mallets uh, as we're going along there. So the percussionists have a lot of work to do, uh, a lot of different things to do, and they're doing a really nice job uh, getting all that stuff together for all the battery work and everything else that they've done. So let's give them a nice, another nice round of applause. Nice round. All right. So, program says we're on to Jingle Bells. We'll trade this around the ensemble also, do some different pairings of it, uh, four bar phrase at a time, and we'll go through it twice for you. This is our little arrangement of Jingle Bells.
We've already arrived at the end of the fourth grade portion of the program. Uh, we're going to go through the NA Shuffle right now, and you'll hear each one of the uh, groups uh, go through it individually. If you didn't get a picture of your section as they stand, they're going to stand right, right in score order for you, flutes all the way through to the back. Uh, and then we're going to take a real, real short intermission, flip the stage over, get the fifth grade up here. Uh, fourth grade is going to put instruments away. Some of them are in the third grade hallway, and some of them are in uh, our room. Uh, they'll be able to put those things away, and it'll be really nice. The, the fifth grade band has four numbers. If you can stick and be part of their audience, we'll put the fourth grade back over there uh, on the tables, or if you've got room next to you, which it doesn't look like you do, which is good. I like a packed house. Um, but they'll be coming back out there. So that'll be, uh, that'll be the order of things and how it goes, and we'll see how things work out here. This is our NA Shuffle.
so we switched stages. We got the fourth grade back to where they sort of are. And uh, fifth grade band up here onto the stage. Uh, the opening selection was the fifth grade version of the Annex Shuffle, which is called Let's Go Band. We found that arrangement uh, a few years ago when we used to run an all-star band all the way through North Allegheny. It was one of our closers uh, that we did uh, back then. And I like it so much because it's a good transition from for the fourth graders from where they learn the NA Shuffle by rote uh, and learn the chromatic things in the reading of a piece of full band music where everybody's playing a different part. So this is a real good transition thing and I guarantee you're going to hear it again in the spring only fourth grade will have it because they get that on Monday. They don't know that yet but now they know that now. So here we go. We're going to um, do uh, three numbers for you that are just all full band pieces. This next one um, is Holiday Sampler. You should hear pieces of Jolly Old St. Nicholas, a little bit of Jingle Bells, some Deck the Halls thrown in there. All kinds of great things happen. So uh, we got some nice bell work that's been going on through here. Dax is going to lead us through that. It's been really nice and some great percussion work on battery also. So this is the Holiday Sampler. This is another one of my favorites. We do uh, we do this a lot also. Um, this is called the Eagle Summit March. Uh, it's a march that has a lot of percussion things going on in it. There's a lot of first and second endings. Lots of the nuts and bolts of what we have to do later on in our musical careers, whether it's middle school, high school, or anything else. So uh, quite a challenge for us to get things together with that. We've got some. Uh, We've got people on all sorts of different percussion things back there. Uh, I think the actors going to do some more snare work on this one, so you'll hear some uh, some isolated things. And we're gonna we have some people on tambourine doing the same. So this will be uh, this will be good. We had two great runs of these pieces, both the Holiday Sampler and um, Eagle Summit March today. So I was really proud of the way the kids handled this. We'll see if we can get another one in for you. Okay, this is the Eagle Summit.
Okay. Fourth grade, guys, I want to congratulate you on your first concert, but sit down, all right? Make sure you're all seated, all right? Listen in the fifth, and everything is good with that. They did a tremendous job today and this evening. I want to make sure that we recognize the fourth grade band for everything that they did. So we'll give them another round of applause. And of course, the fifth grade band behind me, they, they've done a tremendous amount of work. A lot of new people, if you're new, if you're new to band this year as a fifth grader, please stand up, all right? All right, and we got that, and we got me, and we got it too, all right? So we got some things. So, yeah, they did a tremendous job just getting things together. You can sit back down again. Because really, they were they were like hot cross buns for a few weeks, like the fourth graders, but there's no four and a half band. There's no fourth and a half band. So they have to go right away uh, after we get a few notes under their belts and jump right into the fifth grade band. And they did a tremendous job doing that. Because there's a lot of things, there's a lot of moving pieces. Uh, going on up here, and some people that have already put a whole year in uh, that are playing at a little bit of a different level, and they've done a great job catching up and getting things going. Uh, in the spring, and you'll note that the, the program date uh, for the uh, spring is on this program too. I believe that is May the 15th. It's right before a day off. This is perfect, isn't it? It's almost like another Friday night. Uh, it works out really well, so hopefully you don't have any travel plans already made. Uh, for that. If you do, let me know because there could be an alternative concert for you. Uh, that concert will be a combination, more of a combination of the fourth grade and the fifth. Uh, we won't be using the curtain for that one. Uh, we'll have everybody on the stage all at the same time. Uh, and we'll be doing some numbers just fifth, just fourth, but a lot of things uh, that are going to be all combined. So we'll be a nice big band for that one. All right. I would be remiss if I did not thank again Dr. Sheep for coming out here uh, and supporting me and the kids and give him a big round of applause for giving up a little bit of this Friday night. I do appreciate that. I appreciate all the things we do here. Um, the principals had some choices, some big choices to make this year, and I, I really appreciate the fact that they allowed us to schedule around everything else that was going on downstairs in fourth grade and in fifth grade. Uh, without the, their support, the administrative support of that, I couldn't have even gone to the fourth and fifth grade teams and said, hey, I'd like to rotate basically through the whole day. If they're missing math, we'll, we'll deal with that. They can go to math and miss me and come up with makeup times. It was a very creative uh, scheduling process this year, and I think it's worked out really well. I'm looking forward to the spring with that also. Um, also, the biggest thank you is to all of you that are sitting there for renting the instruments, for listening to the practice time at home, which hopefully you are uh, listening to some practice time at home. Um, now that we have uh, two concerts under our belts, anybody that's in the fourth or fifth grade band should be able to play at home a little bit. Uh, if you've got some holiday gatherings, maybe you want to drag your instrument out of the closet too and play with them, uh, that would be great. Uh, but they're, they're seasoned pros now. They've had a Friday night gig and everything works out really well. Thank you very much for all that you do to support the program, and especially your kids. They are wonderful to work with. Uh, I come to work with a smile on my face every day because I'm doing something that I love to do. I love to teach kids through music. Uh, it's not preparing kids for the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. It's preparing these kids for what comes next. And um, we just want them to, to enjoy music and learn some lessons along the way. And uh, I, I couldn't be more thankful for that. So thank you for allowing me to work with your kids. Okay. All right, you ready? All right, this is our last number. Um, oh, last thing I almost forgot. We will have lessons and rehearsal next week. Uh, there is no time off. Uh, fifth grade, we will be talking, just so you know this is coming. Parents, uh, unbelievably, it's time to start to talk about what happens next. We'll be talking about Monday. We'll be discussing fifth grade to sixth grade scheduling, all right, because it's going to come to you sooner than you think. So we'll be discussing some things with that. If they come home and ask questions or say, hey, we talked about this. That's what the whole deal is. It's not a make or break situation, but we have to provide information, all right? So that's one of the things that they'll be doing in rehearsal. Uh, fourth grade already tipped my hand to you guys. You're gonna be getting Let's Go Band, and we're gonna work through that and get everything together. So no time off. So bring them all the way through, and we'll see what's happening, except for Friday. It might get a little goofy. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, all right, commercial's over. We're ready to play. This is our final selection of the night, our most challenging one also. Almost the entire percussion section is back over on battery, uh, so we can get through Jingle Bell Rock. We've got one Jingle Beller, and we'll see how that all comes together. This is Jingle Bell Rock.
Very good. Thanks again once and all for coming out. Uh, have a great